share this planet with almost seven and a half billion people. The walls are closing in, are we running out of space? Or out of time and is climate change going to get us first? Today we discuss five subjects we as a society need to progress on to survive the coming 100 years. Number one, more space. Overpopulation is a major problem already. The natural maximum population of humans is already massively exceeded, it being only 6 million. The prediction for the global population is 9 billion by 2050. Within less than 100 years, the earth will be so densely populated that nearly every inch would need to be taken up by roads or accommodation in order for humans to survive. A great amount of people will starve and run out of shelter within the next 25 years. There are many technologies and projects that focus on making so large a population possible. However, the only real solution would be to reduce the population altogether. But apart from urging humans not to reproduce, there aren't many ways to humanely decrease the population. Perhaps we could move part of the population. There are missions to colonize Mars as well as other projects including starting a base on the moon. There are a number of comets as well as small planets that have the raw materials we would need in order to sustain life. But can we accomplish a colonization so grand? If not, our options would not be many. There are obvious problems with living underground, but it might be the next best option. Number 2. Food. Food shortage and famine are already problems in many countries and areas across the world. In order to grow and produce food, we need land and fertile soil. Both are becoming scarce and scarcer as time goes by. Open land is becoming less forthcoming at an alarming rate. Additionally, many cows and farm animals need to be fed hormones and medication in order to just stay alive. The numbers of free-range animals dwindle. Soon all livestock will need to be kept alive using unnatural means. Many people deem this cruel and despise this type of animal treatment. With space and farmland decreasing, it's becoming more and more common for people to find alternative sources of protein. In 2013, a group of scientists at Maastricht University in the Netherlands were able to produce an entire artificially made burger containing only lab-grown meat. This burger was grown from a few strips of muscle tissue and costs about $11 per burger with today's technology. This is a crazy massive step forward from the previous $325,000 it took to create the same amount of meat a few years earlier. When we get to the point where farm animals cost more to maintain than they produce, people might feel much more willing to bite into something created in a lab. Number 3 new energy. A new source of energy is something that is discussed obsessively in recent times. In our last episode we talked about some methods of clean energy already available to us today. We can expect a huge amount of advancements in this field as well as new sources of energy getting tapped into. But even though there have been some very promising breakthroughs in energy production, the primary sources of energy in the world remain natural gas, oil and coal. All three of these sources of energy are unrenewable, taking millions of years to be produced naturally, if not more. The gathering of energy from fossil fuels is an extremely reliable and easy thing to do. The people in control of these operations make more money than nearly any other operation in the world. So until oil and other forms of natural gas run out, we can't expect people to move on to cheaper, more affordable ways of creating energy. Humans are much more interested in the money involved rather than the renewability of our energy. Number 4. Minerals When we think of resources we're running out of, we tend to think of gas and oil. However, there are actually quite a few minerals we are currently running out of that we need in order to survive and keep our society running properly. Apart from the obvious food, water and oil shortage, we are also starting to lack important elements such as phosphorus, potassium, sodium, magnesium, sulfur and iron. All of these minerals are extremely common but are still subject to the effects of the virus we as a species are now becoming. 
draining our host, the Earth, of its vital elements. Rarer materials, such as precious metals, we are running out of even faster. So military forces and governments have actually invested in certain mines to combat the dwindling supply of materials. Unless humans find another source of minerals other than our planet Earth, we can expect many things we take for granted today to become unavailable or heavily regulated and expensive in the near future. Number 5. Climate Control Global warming, the talk of the last 10 years that every earth science teacher won't shut up about. You won't find many people today that dare to argue against the climate change that's happening on earth. The effects are being noticed everywhere. From ice caps melting to entire countries needing to be evacuated due to sea levels rising. The entire world is beginning to be reshaped before our eyes. What happens at the end of this? This part becomes somewhat clearer if we look into the history of our planet. As the global temperatures rise, the poles shift and a new ice age begins. This isn't all that bad for us humans, as we lived through this before, without the technology of today. That being said, surviving something and living through it are two very different things. If we want to survive the ice age without massive loss of life, Many things would need to change to keep society up as a whole. Many people today aren't adapt to the cold. Along with that, storms, earthquakes and floods would increase and appear in areas where such phenomena are uncommon. Without very strong shelter or climate controlled domes, the loss of life would be immense. We know the weather becomes more violent during the ice age, but not how bad it would actually get. We have no details on record, so we can only guess. What we do know about the Ice Age tells us that much and more needs to happen before the average person will be able to survive such an extreme and harsh climatological period. Those were five subjects we as a society need to look to if we want to survive. Did you like today's video? Let us know. And you can subscribe to be notified when a new Future 5 comes out.